Oh, here we go. The, the thing took a while to actually get started. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, I, I didn't know when I'd back Lady Cooler a lot when I recorded it. I got a little sore when I watched that one, but I figured, yeah, I might as well go for that day against Ben. I don't know, the guy, yeah, but like, yeah, go probably like for that golden free day, I'll get through. We've got a fair few to get through. <laughs> But like, okay, when they air again, I'm gonna rewatch them back by airing again. Go, so, there you go. Anyway, um, I don't want to get for the pairing, honestly. But the first one, a dog walker, runner, screamer, written by, uh, Valerie and Marja. I'll call them, okay, I can't pronounce the last name. Um, from this episode, Elliot to get out of commission in the hospital, because he never incident. And Miles Osmer to take up his second job as a dog walker that he inexplicably has. And never mentioned it all before now. And apparently, it's the one that paid him. So, really weird to have mentioned until now. But he kind of to take over for him. You know. And, uh, meanwhile, Dakota, Caminus, and Dakota, um, help double upon the alien device back, an anti gravity device, essentially. That's more or less how to it. This one was fine. It's good, but not. It's just. Eh, yeah, it's good in the fine way. You know, he go dog walker. We got a fun montage of him doing some dog walkery stuff. Nothing. To, I keep almost getting a dog walker, but you don't want to get that nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dated myself. Um, take a peek in this movie. I kind of dated. If you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> you know, some fun stuff. Uh, Dog get a walker. But nothing extraordinary. They do come you can think, but nothing that laugh out loud funny. Uh to come counter stuff better, because a little more creative and I like the way we interconnected. Now kind of um a couple minor bits, nothing particularly funny. I think it would benefit from a more substantial plot, maybe more substantial joke. Like I can look at R in the one by the way, man. Like I maybe them having them here to help out with that is something. I mean I get it sort of I can't bland compared to our episode, but it doesn't do, unlike Lady Cruller, we'll come with that, it doesn't do anything wrong, and it could reasonably enchant up come both way through. The only thing, like, to got the ending, which actually was kind of nice with him and Elliot. They had a joke on top of it, but it's a good joke. God, I don't mind it. And yeah, that really couple up good. You know, I think that's fine. Come up with Goku's show, have a little more to them in terms of plot. Because I could find out one that didn't cut and dry. But it was a little funnier. But they uh, like good, but not for best good. It's sort of like an episode like The Wild Arrest, where I felt that was game. It's fine. But, yeah. Hey, um, yeah, but still entertaining, I'm glad. And that's all I got for that one. So, uh, now on to Now I Am a Murphy, written by Jim Bernstein. And this kept code, um, Milo, Dad, and the Grandpa, who remember from the Crimp Cup code, which I'm, I'm, I'm doing a cover back relevant. Um, which I have. Animated, um, the Kage Chaos. Okay, first of all, the other episode I forgot to mention, no Doofenshmirtz cameo, which is good. This one made up for it, but I actually enjoyed him here because it come to the guy plot with them in the art game that dug in doing a truth You know, it's a typical shake of a grenade or doing something dumb, but I enjoyed him here, and he do not get a great joke. I'm not gonna spoil, but he get a pedantic about. How we don't come to like we don't cold, we're animated. And there's a joke after that that is good. That made me laugh pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah. Um this another one I think is fine. I, I like it more than the other one because it's a little more meat to it. Because but I'll uh, confess thing covering a little more interesting. Um I think I actually for a couple of covering a little more. Um I don't know, I'm not quite sure what they'd be doing with it and it was fun. Didn't get much too much of conclu con con conclusion. Well, the main story is kind of typical. I think, mean, like, oddly enough, the kind of plot before where they do a communication, and it's kind of typical stuff. Um, they do a fake out thing, 
one point where like we have to have someone dress up as some like monster or something, and then it showed up, but then the you know, person who probably dressed up showed up and go, "What I miss?" or something like that. We do that it's kind of amusing, but it's like you know. And by the end, you know, he becomes Murphy and there's nothing. Yeah, it's pretty cut and dry. I would, I actually would have better maybe. I'm not betting anything deep from the show, but maybe a bit more explanation of what it means to be Murphy or. Some sort of doubt, but nah, things went smoothly by Murphy Law, the green head. It was cool to see grandparents again, and they get separated, so we don't do a gag or talk over each other. And you can wait, is this what I sound like when your grandma gets talking over me? And, the, and, they, and thankfully, they don't repeat that too much. Uh, I think we show up in a cage, we repeat gagging a little too much. Um, you know, I think quite a few of these have been, some of them are threatened to get on, but they don't quite. But it's kind of like what they do. Um, and I do think Milo, Vicky in particular, I feel like we have to tone down a certain running gag, but I don't know if I think they are, but, but thankfully they think they are. Um, when they repeat the animated thing, they do have him, okay, we come before, right, in a way that full, I don't know, I don't know, it's not funny the first time, and the first time, but, so we have the one book entertaining up go, we get to keep some fun antics in the wood, we sort of got that great line, Line and it could have done more, but I think for what it ended up being an entertaining enough episode. But yeah, that is Doug Walker, Dog Walker, ugh, Runner Screamer, and now I'm a referee. Both pretty entertaining episode, but not special. Um, they're fine, but after, yeah, after that, Zeb Kubuskino for Free Fall My Own World, and after Vogue were very entertaining. This one's kind of, but it's fine. Mm, I'm okay with that because as long as it's not like flawed, like if they have to, maybe could work on. I found some more Myers you're gonna have with that one to get that vlog, but that I still think I was generally fine. <laughs> yeah, but um from F I'm okay that can be just good as long as it's not flawed or too flawed. And plus they're the playing thing you want, I think I mean that game call like, level quality like, call. I'm fine with that. Um what is the next one that I supposed to be talking about? I probably should have this up probably yep. You're not the one to be talking about. Yeah, um, after that, I have like three years I have. Um, that's one in conducting Murphy Law, which I got 22 minute episode. Uh, I'm inventing another one for a little for a while, but that I should know what number of half hour that is. I believe that is going to 13, like roughly about when the first like a long event one was, and the first thing you'd go. That's fair. Go we'll get that time. We can get all. Hopefully, have more to about that one, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but guess what? The key. Anyway, dwell up. Go. I'll see you next time.